क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स इज कंसिडर अ पार्टिकल परफॉर्मिंग यूनिफॉर्म सर्कुलर मोशन विद स्पीड वी द करेक्ट रिलेशन अमंग दॉलोइंग इज नाउ डी स्टूडेंट वी इज गिवन टू बी द स्पीड ऑफ द पार्टिकल द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन से इज दैट द डिफ्रेंसिएशन ऑफ मैग्निट्यूड ऑफ वी वैक्टर दैट इज दॉसिटी वैक्टर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम इज इक्वल टू जीरो डियर स्टूडेंट एज पर द्वेश्चन इट इज अफॉर्म सर्कुलर मोशन दे फोर the rate of change of speed would be zero as the speed would remain constant and the magnitude of v vector is speed and since the differentiation of a constant is zero first option is correct option let us analyze the second option as well the second option writes that double differentiation of velocity with respect to time is zero dear students we can write it as differentiation of differentiation of velocity With respect to time, with respect to time, dear students, this particular term is the net acceleration of the particle, and in the uniform circular motion, the net acceleration is the centripetal acceleration. We must note, however, that centripetal acceleration may be constant in magnitude in uniform circular motion, but it is not constant in direction. Therefore, as an overall vector, it is a variable quantity. and hence its differentiation is not equal to 0 which means that second option is an incorrect option the third option says that d v vector by dt that is the rate of change of velocity with respect to time is equal to 0 dear students the velocity may have a constant magnitude as the speed does not change in uniform circular motion however the velocity continuously changes its direction and therefore it is a variable vector whose differentiation with respect to time is not equal to 0 which means that option number 3 is also incorrect now let us analyze option number 4 option number 4 says that double differentiation of magnitude of velocity with respect to time is not equal to 0 dear student we have seen that the differentiation of magnitude of velocity with respect to time is equal to 0 and option number 4 can be simplified and written as the differentiation of the differentiation of magnitude of velocity now dear students if this term is zero then the overall differentiation of zero would be zero as well which means that fourth option is also an incorrect option and hence dear students correct option is option number 1 now let us proceed to question number 7 dear students question number 7 says a particle is moving along a circle such that its speed increases at a constant rate of 10 meter per second square if radius of the circle is 10 meters and at that instant the speed of the particle is 20 meters per second then the angle between the velocity and acceleration of the particle at that instant is now dear students as per the question since the speed is increasing at a constant rate of 10 meters per second square it means that the tangential acceleration of the particle is equal to 10 meter per second square and it is a constant now at the given instant the centripetal acceleration can be calculated using the formula v square by r where v is the speed and r is the radius of the circle here v is given to be equal to 20 so we can write 20 square divided by the radius which is 10 which turns out to be 40 meter per second square now dear students in a circle the tangential acceleration and the velocity vector are in the same direction if the speed is increasing which is as per the given question therefore to find out the angle between the velocity and the acceleration of the particle we can simply find out the angle between the tangential acceleration and the acceleration of the particle now the angle between the tangential acceleration and the acceleration can be calculated using this diagram if this is the tangential acceleration and this is the centripetal acceleration i am drawing them to be mutually perpendicular because tangential direction and radial direction are perpendicular to each other the net acceleration would be somewhere in this direction let us call this as a we have to find out this angle phi now dear students as per vector diagram tan phi is equal to ac by at which we can write as 40 by 10 or 4 and hence 
phi turns out to be equal to tan inverse 4. Therefore, dear students, the correct answer for this particular question is option number 1. Now, let us proceed to the question number 8. Question number 8 says, a beetle P starts moving with a constant speed 10 meter per second on a horizontal table such that its velocity is always inclined at an angle 60 degree with the line OP, where O is a fixed point. If initially the beetle is at a distance 20 meters from O, then the time taken by it to reach O will be. Now, dear students, as per the question, the velocity of the beetle is continuously directed at an angle of 60 degree with line OP. The speed of the beetle is constant and equal to 10 meters per second. Now, dear students, the component of this velocity along the line OP will always be equal to 10 cos 60 as this angle 60 degree is a constant. This particular value is therefore equal to 5 meters per second. The other component which will be perpendicular to OB will have a magnitude tan sin 60 which is equal to 5 root 3 meters per second. Dear students, we must note a very important fact here. This velocity 5 root 3 meters per second is changing the orientation of line OP whereas this velocity of 5 meter per second is changing the length or the magnitude of the line OP. This very particular velocity has a constant magnitude of 5 meter per second always. Now, dear students, as the line OP reduces from 20 meter to 0, the net displacement of the beetle along line OP is 20 meter and the velocity along line OP is 5 meter per second. Therefore, the time which is equal to displacement by velocity can be written to be equal to 20 divided by 5 that is 4 seconds and hence dear students the correct answer for this particular question should be option number 2. Now let us proceed to the question number 9. Dear students question number 9 says from top of a high tower two particles are simultaneously projected horizontally in opposite directions with speeds 3 meters per second and 5 meters per second. The separation between the particles after 4 seconds will be. Now, the students, as the particles are projected, they both fall down with the acceleration of g, that is acceleration due to gravity. Now, dear student, this will be same for both of particles. Now, since the acceleration is same for both the particles, we can easily write that the relative acceleration between the particles would be equal to 0. And hence, dear students, the relative velocity between the particle remains constant. As per the question, one of the particles is projected with 5 meter per second and another particle is projected in the opposite direction with a speed 3 meters per second. So, the relative velocity between the particles can be written as 3 plus 5 that is 8 meters per second. So, that is relative speed or relative velocity. Now, dear student, this is constant because the relative acceleration is 0. After 4 seconds, the relative separation between the particles or simply the separation between the particles can be written to be equal to d is equal to relative speed multiplied by time that is 8 into 4 because 4 is the time equal to 32 meters and hence dear students the correct answer for this question turns out to be option number 1. Now dear students let us proceed to the question number 10. Dear students question number 10 says a particle of mass 20 grams moves along a circle with a constant tangential acceleration equal to 2 meter per second square. What is the magnitude of its velocity when particle moved through a distance 4 meter after starting from rest? Now dear students, the tangential acceleration is always directed along the displacement of the particle in a circular motion. And also the velocity 
will be attained in the direction of the tangential acceleration only as the particle is starting from rest. We can use this simple formula of equation of motion to calculate the final velocity's magnitude or the speed. We can use the formula that v square is equal to u square plus 2as. Here initial velocity is 0 plus 2 multiplied by acceleration which is 2 and the distance travelled that is 4 which turns out to be 16. Therefore dear students v turns out to be root 16 which will be equal to 4 meters per second and hence dear students the correct answer for this question should be option number 4. Now dear students let us proceed to the question number 11.